go expert. And what's the difference between advanced and expert? In my mind, it's adding that next layer of color. I call it interference color. So it sits on top of these thrillers. It's that shimmer and shine. So we're gonna do this one. We're gonna make it a little bit backwards. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a good amount of thriller so that we really get a lot of shimmer and shine. And then we're gonna decide what chiller we put into it. I'm gonna go with blue thriller. And I'm gonna add a big heap. And I'm hoping that if I just mix that in, you'll see it has a real three dimensionality to it. It just looks almost like a blue morpho, like a blue morpho butterfly. Look at that. Look at that shimmer and shine. I don't know if you can see that. You'll notice that when you just add the thriller, the putty stays very clear. It really looks nice. And now I'm gonna add a little bit more even. I really wanna make it shiny. And you're gonna see where that shininess comes into play. Now, if I was gonna make a secondary color, so let's do a secondary to a primary. When it's warm, it's gonna be primary blue. When it's cool, it's gonna be a secondary color. So I could either go green by adding yellow, or I could go purple by adding red. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add some red, because I like purples, I really do. So we're gonna add some red here, and we're gonna just start mixing it in. And you're gonna see, as we mix it, of course, the putty's already warm because I've been mixing and playing with it. So it's like, hmm, Aaron, nothing really changed. Maybe it's a little less clear right now, but it looks pretty much the same to me. Let's go to the ice and see what happens. Ooh, look at that. That's a deep purple. Let's go. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and really cool down and what you're gonna see is a purple layer when it's cold and then on top of that purple layer is a blue iridescence like that blue morpho butterfly and then when you warm it up the purple layer underneath disappears and now you're left with the blue this is kind of what when we have our sunburst or chameleon or twilight or amethyst blush the effect that I try to create for you so that it has a real three dimensionality and it's changing color and even when it's sort of between two colors when it's in the midst of changing it still looks really neat and interesting. And you can see that there. You see that blue iridescence. It's pretty cool. So this is when you go expert, and that is really pretty. I like it. And I'm gonna call it Purple Dreams. Gonna add the light blue pencil. I love matching color. It's what I do. I wonder if you know other things that change color. Maybe things I haven't even mentioned, aside from the animals. There are other products that use a similar technology to be able to change color. Maybe some coffee mugs where a picture appears when you pour warm liquid in, or um, maybe you've seen those thermometers that look like mood rings that change color. That's a liquid crystal technology. That's a really special stuff. Super expensive. Um, what else changes color? Maybe some shirts. Have you ever seen a hypercolor shirt that changes color? Uh, what else? Hmm. I don't know. See what you can add to the comments. Maybe you'll show me something. Maybe you'll show me something I've never seen before. That would be cool. I love opening my mind to new possibilities.